Boston police are looking for a pair of suspects for vandalizing a Black Lives Matter mural in Alston. Within the last 90 minutes, they went public with this fuzzy surveillance picture of the pair. WBZ's Nick Emmons is live in Alston for us tonight. Nick. Yeah, so this is that uh, art installation here. It's along a mass dot fence here, right off of the mass pike. And you can see the word here, Black Lives Matter, along the fence. But if you look closely, you can still see some of that, what appears to be black spray paint. It has been scrubbed off uh, since this happened, police say, uh, around 920 on Thursday night. And as you mentioned, we do have a surveillance picture of a man and a woman who police want to talk to involved with this. Take a look at the uh, picture here. It is grainy. Uh, but this is what they released uh, earlier today. And you can see that man and a woman, they're standing right in front of this sign. Some of the letters still blacked out uh, at that point. I was able to catch up with uh, a store owner who works just across the street. He has surveillance video, uh, and he was able to describe to me what he says happened Thursday night as he watched that man and woman walk down the street and stop at this art installation. He just came up with a black can of spray paint, just started filling in the word black in black to kind of black it out. Somebody in the neighborhood caught it right afterwards. Paint was still wet, and they started cleaning it off. I think they should be charged with a hate crime. So again, police are calling that man and woman persons of interest at this point. They want people to come forward. Maybe they recognize who those uh, people were. Maybe they talked about it uh, and wanting to do something like this. That store owner says that it wasn't the first time that this installation has been vandalized. Uh, people in the past have changed it to say blue lives matter. They've blacked out the words, tried to pull some of the letters off as well. Uh, so he's seen this happen before. He hopes the people responsible are caught for doing this, and police want anyone with information to give the District 14 headquarters a call. That's the latest live in Austin. I'm Nick Emmett's WBZ News. All right, Nick, thanks.